Welcome back everybody. Here we are again uh, with another video. Um, this one's going to be about the wind and a new way I've found to uh, use the wind um, when you're on an approach shot. The charts that are out there, they're very quite accurate, but you have to, when using the charts, you have to use them in certain spots. And for instance, when you're just on the fringe or just outside the green, you can't really use the chart because the wind doesn't really move the ball that much at all when you're on the approach like that. But I have found a way, and this does not apply to the woods or your drivers. Um, it also doesn't apply to your wedges or your rough irons or your sand wedges. It applies to mostly your long irons and your short irons. I'll try and show you what I'm talking about here. When you're a little ways away from the green, I'm just going to play a little one here. Um, let's just play a tour too. So what happens is uh, you'll notice the squares on the green, the way the grass is cut, um, each one of those squares I've found, and it's not exact, but it is very close to exact, um, equal to me when using the long iron and the short iron, um, three or 1.5 miles an hour per wind or of wind per square. So when I get up here, I'll show you uh, exactly what I mean. Great shot! It, um, uh, I've tried those charts before, and they're not the easiest thing to figure out when you're, because you, you only have your 30 seconds, and if you're having to whip out this page and look at it and remember what your accuracy on your club is, blah, 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 um, it's not the easiest thing to figure out in a crunch. So let me try and get this ball out here. Perfect shot. Hopefully on the fairway because it, I mean, it does work in the rough, but it's preferable and works better on the fairway. So here's the perfect example here. So I'm going to be using probably, oh, it might even give me the, um, I might be too far away, but we can try it anyway. Um, this is probably going to give me my, let's see where he ends up here. Nice sand trap. So as you can see the squares on the green there, you see them, right? Well, here's my method of playing it. So, right here I'm using the long iron, the Saturn. So this is perfect, actually. Now the wind is at a 1.4. Now if you notice the squares on the green, each one of those squares, to me, is equal a 1.5. So if I want to play this wind... Oh, it's not going to let me get over there. If I use my... Perfect. Okay, so 1.5. So I want to move this basically over one square, which is about there. Now if I can hit this exactly right on the button, like so, Perfect this shot. should land right on the hole. I just missed it, but I was using a uh, too much club there. I'm just trying to show you what I meant, but you see how close it came to to the hole. Now, if you were going slower, it probably would have just missed. So, like I say, it's not exact, but at 1.5 per square, um, it does 
work quite well. Now, again, that was a fairly long shot, so the wind's going to play it a lot longer. So when I say it works with the long irons, um, it works. It, you got to be fairly close. Like, I don't want to say you have to be exact. Exactly in the right uh, at the right distance to do it, but there's a you kind of got to get used to it. But if you try it out on a couple holes with whichever club you have, that's sort of in between the long iron and the short iron, uh, you can tell whereabouts you are, and you'll see that if you use that those squares on the green, as you can see right here in the picture, each one of them. If you move your arrow over, um, every one square you move over will take care of 1.5 miles an hour of wind. So if you move them two, that's three miles an hour of wind, so on and so forth. Anyway, give it a try and uh, let me know in the comments what you think about it. Um, like I say, you got to kind of get used to it. It's not an exact science, but right in between that long range and short range club distance is right about where it works perfect but once you get used to it you'll sort of understand and you'll get a better grasp of what you need to do when you're moving that arrow sometimes you go a little more sometimes you go a little less it just kind of you, you sort of know it yourself but anyway thanks for watching guys we'll uh you know, hit that like button if it's something you're uh, enjoying here. And please subscribe to the channel. And uh, I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.